हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज मयंक आर गर्ग असोसिएट प्रोफेसर वर्किंग इन द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इंग्लिश बी एस आर गवर्नमेंट आर्ट्स कॉलेज अलवर टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट शोज प्ले आर्म्स एंड द मैन दिस प्ले हैज बिन रिटन बाय बर्नाड शॉ and my topic today is going to be shows concept of life force but before talking about life force i think i should acquaint you or i should give basic information about darwin's theory of uh, the survival of the fittest as you know that uh, darwin propounded the theory of evolution in this theory the survival of the fittest comes about through the killing of the weak by the strong but according to bernard shaw bernard shaw slightly modified this theory and uh, in most of uh, his plays we see this theory in a mod- modified form he uses the term life force to um, um explain this theory let me explain what life force is so i was telling you that according to shaw the fittest are those who survive by superior intelligence and by the exercise of will power shows life force is always creating new and better types ultimately tending towards superman show believes that we are the instruments of life force why for the for the for the evolution of higher forms of life according to shaw in the woman the purpose of life force is to multiply life and so the woman instinctively uh, pursues and marries the man who is likely to make the best possible father to her children and for this purpose the man whom she pursues the man succumbs to her romantic charms but there are certain um you can say rare men men of genius who do not succumb to the wiles of women like bernard shaw himself such men are also uh, uh, subject to the working of life force but through them the purpose of life force is not to multiply life but to raise life to higher levels sergius is the best possible husband for lauka and raina must marry blanchley because he is a man of superior intelligence such mating is likely to result in the creation in the creation of better race of men shaw has laid stress on the fundamental instinct of better men and made light of sentiments shaw is believed you know to be an anti romantic writer so he shatters romantic ideas about many things like about war about love about these things so he is not a romantic uh, writer he shatters romantic ideals and in this play also he shows that um, we are working under 
a force which is called life force. We can't escape this universal power. So Sho has laid stress on the fundamental instinct of betterment, betterment of human race and he has made light of sentiments because he believes that sentiments are unreal and absolutely he is absolutely unconcerned with these sentiments. He is concerned with the evolutionary impulses. This is a basic um, information about life force. When you read Arms and the Man, Man and Superman, these plays, Pygmalion, if you read these plays, you will gradually and uh, instinctively learn about life force, Shaw's life force, Bernard Shaw's life force, his ideas about evolution of mankind or human race. That is why I have tried to acquaint you, I have tried to give a brief idea about the concept of uh, life force in his plays. In short, we are all working under this force, under life force, unwillingly and wittingly, unknowingly. And thus, we are, uh, you know, reaching to higher levels of life. I will discuss other aspects of Shaw's um, Arms and the Man in the coming video lectures. This was simply a kind of warm up for you so that you could know what life force is or what the theme is of his plays. Thank you for watching this video attentively, patiently and I hope you will read his plays keeping the concept of life force in your mind. Thank you for watching me.